everyone. Today, we're going to talk about the second classification of matter, which is mixture. And we are going to focus on the different types of mixture. We have already discussed the two classifications of matter, which is pure substance and mixture. And pure substance is further classified into element and compound. Element is made up of only one kind of atom. Look at the structure of an atom. It resembles our solar system. In the middle of an atom is the nucleus. It holds the proton, which is positively charged, and neutron has no charge. Surrounding the nucleus is the shell, and it holds the electron, which is negatively charged. Here are the atomic structure of different elements depending on their subatomic particles, the proton, neutron, and electron. In a periodic table of elements, elements are grouped according to their properties or organized according to their atomic number. Elements may exist as a single atom or as a molecule. Compounds are formed when these molecules or atoms of different elements combine. Note, however, that the combination should involve chemical reaction. If one molecule of oxygen chemically reacts with two molecules of hydrogen, it will form two compounds of water. The compound water is formed when one atom of oxygen and two atoms of hydrogen chemically combine. Notice how one atom of carbon and one atom of oxygen forms the carbon monoxide, while one atom of carbon and two atoms of oxygen forms carbon dioxide. The second classification of matter is mixture. It is further classified into homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. While compound is formed by the chemical combination of two or more elements, mixture is a physical combination of two or more substances. It can be an element and other element, element and compound, element and other impure substances, compound and other impure substances. How can we distinguish between mixture and compound? In this simple experiment, you will see the yellow substance that is the sulfur. It has a chemical symbol S and the black substance is iron filings. It is the element iron with the chemical symbol Fe. Look how the two elements are being physically combined or mixed. It is now labeled mixture A. A few sample of the mixture is being put in a dish so that it will be heated. After heating the contents in the dish, a black mass, which is a compound of sulfur and iron, is formed. This substance is then put in a mortar to be powdered using a pestle. The substance now is transferred into a beaker and labeled black mass B. Now let us try to compare based on their appearance. See, in mixture A, we can still see the boundary between the yellow substance, which is the sulfur, and the black substance, which is the iron filings. That is because the two elements are just physically combined, so they retain their property. In the black mass B, the sulfur and the iron filings are no longer visible because after heating the substance, the two elements did not retain their properties. Now let us try to find out how the two behaves towards the magnet. If we show a magnet over mixture A, look how the iron filings are attached to the magnet. That is because the iron retains its properties. While on black mass B, no particles of iron are attached to the magnet because the iron lost its magnetic properties. In the experiment, what have we learned about mixture? A mixture is a physical combination of two or more substances. It is shown in mixture A. 
a physical combination of iron and sulfur. The components of mixture retain their own identities. It is proven when the iron attaches itself to the magnet because iron has a magnetic property. The individual components of a mixture can be separated by physical method. Using a magnet, we were able to separate iron filings from sulfur. Mixture is further classified into homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. Let us compare homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixtures have uniform composition and appearance throughout. It is also called true solutions. Particles of homogeneous mixtures are evenly distributed. In heterogeneous mixture, the properties of heterogeneous mixtures varies, and the particles of the components of the mixture clumps together and forms large aggregations. Here are the properties of homogeneous mixture. All solutions are examples of homogeneous mixture. The particles in such a case are less than 1 nanometer. They do not show a Tyndall effect. You cannot differentiate the boundaries of particles. You cannot separate the constituent particles here using centrifugation or decantation. Alloys are examples of solution. An example of a true solution is the sugar and water solution. After adding water to the sugar, the sugar gradually dissolves or gets evenly distributed in the system, giving the solution a uniform composition. Another example of homogeneous mixture is alloy. Alloy is a combination of two or more metallic elements. Most of the mixtures are heterogeneous except solutions and alloys. An example of heterogeneous mixtures is our very own halo-halo. In halo-halo, you can identify the components or ingredients easily, and you can see two or more faces that are present in the mixture. Thank you for watching! That's it for this video. If you learned something here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Cup of Teach. See you on the next lesson. Bye!